my name is Roy Kerr. I'm the master and owner of the tall ship La Malouine, uh, which is French registered, although we're Scottish. And it uh, gets a bit complicated at times, you know, but, uh, and we're actually, most of my crew come from the Isle of Man, so we work quite often with quite a um, nationality on board. We have Hungarians, we have um, Yugoslavs, we have Polish, we have um, Irish, we even have a lot of people from Manchester. And a few from Liverpool now and again, just to make life more interesting, you know. And uh, we work in the theory, we fund the boat because it's all done in a shoestring, you might say. We don't have sponsors, we don't have anybody throwing shed loads of money at us. But uh, we make a bit of money going to festivals and we use that to fund the boat and we take a lot of people out for free. We don't charge anything at all for them. Uh, if they can cover the cost of their food, that's all we're interested in because, and I say, if they help to sail the boat. And sometimes we have anything up to 34 people on board and other times we're down to just two. And somehow or other we can manage to sail the boat with two as long as we've got plenty of space and uh, when we come to a port hopefully somebody to take a shore line when we throw it ashore. Otherwise it gets complicated when there's only two you on board. But uh, we sailed down from the Isle of Man with just three on board and uh, we are now heading on. We've gained uh, uh, another two people from Manchester and another one coming, one coming from Dublin and now one from Fife. And I think the only one we need a translator for is the lad from Fife because they talk their own language there completely and utterly. And I'm quite looking forward to Damien coming in from Dublin because he's very, very broad Dublin with uh, John from Fife because I think it's going to be interesting working out just just what they're saying, you know. This is the galley through here, which is quite a good sized galley. And the uh, a decent sized commercial cooker in the corner here and everything is sort of stainless steel and working. In fact, that's John making tomorrow's dinner, isn't it? Below decks here we have um, cabins. Um, we, there's four cabins down here, uh, a toilet and a shower, and the showers are big walk-in jobs. We actually have uh, four showers in the boat and four toilets in the boat. It's quite nice coming back to Liverpool again because it's been a great many years since I've been in here. But I've basically sailed sort of all my life as a hobby and uh, I've been farming most of my life and working for Her Majesty etc. And basically I still work for Her Majesty because there's still a nice pension comes in every month which pays for the boat and uh, I have my old folks pension as well so I'm quite happy. I live in the boat so uh, this is my home. This is where I live. Uh, we have our toilet and shower in here and through the back here we have another uh, double berth uh, well, it's a queen size actually on this side and a single berth on this side. So um, John sleeps on this side and I'm on that side over there. And a small dinette down here for. That's uh, okay, come around the corner here. A small dinette in here, which uh, when you're normally at sea and not all this rubbish around, whoever's on watch uh, can sit down here and you only need one person in the wheel. And if there's any problem at all, they just kick the deck and when you're down here you hear it so whoever's down here if they're not fast asleep shoots up and does whatever has to be done whatever bits of string have to be pulled or whatever bit of flappy stuff has to be adjusted or whatever it happens to be or um, well unless we've arrived to where we're supposed to be going because sometimes they're down here they're completely asleep it's meeting people that's the biggest thing, you meet all these people from different countries, different nationalities, different languages and it, it's amazing how people can communicate. Uh, it's, it's no problem, plus as I say sometimes you know uh, young kids and stuff I'll take them uh, two at a time and I'll take them I'll show them how every hour on the hour we take the GPS position, we write it in the log and we put what the weather conditions are, what the weather winds coming from, odd comments like that. And I says, then we go to the chart and we take latitude and longitude and cross and I says, that's where we are. In one hour's time, we'll do it again. And you'll see them looking at the watch, looking at the watch, you know, you shout me in one hour's time exactly. We do it again. We'll link the two crosses together. That's where we are, that's where we are now. In one hour's time, you do it yourself. And you can see, you know, people suddenly become an inch taller. When you come up forward, we've got a big deck area. This is the companion we hatch here that goes down to the forward accommodation. But this is the only winch in the boat. 
everything else is done the hard way. All the bits of string, everything is done the hard way, and it's it's uh, well, it sorts out some of the people. Uh, you got to use a bit of common sense, and the only thing we have that for is uh, hauling up the anchors, which we have two anchors, and um, each of them are about half a ton. So you don't want to pull that up, and we discovered we've actually got 200 metres of chain there. Uh, the first time we came across that was in Kakubri in a gale when we had to anchor, and we didn't, didn't realise how much chain we actually had down there until it was all out, you know. But this gives you an idea of the space in the boat and uh, where we go. And as I say, going out, going out on here, if you look over the side here, you can see that the safety nets are all designed so you can walk out through there. And I say going right out to the bow split isn't a problem. Uh, and the only time you need to do that is to tie down sail when we're either in port or going out, you know, in port operations, you might say. Because when we're at sea, you shoot sail and that's it up.